Hello parents, this is a teacher who is also a parent who is making this video because once again I'm having to explain to my teen how to actually utilize the resources that we've not only bought and paid for but encourage at the college with um, the students who are studying maths. Every student in middle and high and senior school has a subscription to Cambridge Maths. Now this is a fantastic resource that is often underused by the students because they don't remember all of the different things that it offers. When they first log into this, they often will go to this student book PDF. Now this is fine if they need to work offline because they don't have internet. Uh, it looks basically like this and it's just a copy of the actual um, textbook as it is. Okay, exactly like you see on the PDFs. The only thing it has is these little images here that remind the students that hey on the live website we have a lot more to offer and that's what I'm actually going to be putting in this video now. So instead of just that PDF book they can do a whole heap of other things. First of all if you see any numbers here next to tasks or tests or up here that means the teacher has assigned them some work and they haven't yet done it and it's outstanding. Not a bad thing to know as a parent. Now the other thing I tell all my kids to do is to click this link the my text because it actually takes you to this textbook that's a live version and has live links in it to help them get through. So say we're doing geometry here, chapter two, starting at the very beginning. This is what it looks like, same but more. First of all, it summarizes a whole heap of things on the side here. It summarizes what the key ideas are, any headings, you can click straight to them, but better than that, it gives them some help with resources in the way of videos that show them how to do the different problems, widgets which are basically little applications that walk them step by step through the problem in a different way to the videos but helps cover the same skill and these hot sheets are just extra um, basically worksheets that used to be used an awful lot with the previous textbooks and they've kept them on there for the kids or teachers or parents to use if they wish with the answers there. So the very first thing I get the kids to have a look at is in the key ideas it reminds them about all of the important information um, especially key terms. Literacy is a big thing in maths. If you can't understand what the question is asking you've got no idea how to answer the question. It takes them through all the key terms and rules that they need to remember from previous years. Then it shows them how to do an example of every type of math problem that is in that section. So um, using exterior angles is one type of skill that it's going to be testing. Working with polygons and parallel lines is another. Each one of these are specific types of problems they're going to be given and to help them do this not only does it have a solution written out here with an explanation but and this is the killer here it has a video that takes the kids how, through how to do that problem step by step with the teacher talking along and literally writing out how to do it while they talk. So that's something that can't be beaten especially when you're at home and you're needing to give them help on how to do a problem and you're unsure yourself. All of the videos in that section are summarized under this resources section here. All of the different example videos any widgets that's what that means that teach them how to go through it as well plus extra handouts that they've put in there with solutions for people to have if they really run out of things to do. The next thing your kids have to do is just go to the exercise section. Now this is another important thing. If your child is struggling with this area here then we recommend that they do this first column of work here. It actually splits it up so that kids who are struggling get to go over the basics and practice them. Kids that are okay but still need to really um, consolidate their understanding would pick the middle one here and kids who are flying through and find the basics of this quite easy and just want to get on to the problem solving to really test their skills they should focus on this last column here. In the textbook just going to see if I can pull it up here it looks like this easy middle hard. On the actual ebook if you click this it will actually select out 
only the problems that that student really needs to be doing at their skill level and deletes anything they don't need to see. So if your child is really quite successful in this or only needs a little bit of help, it will actually delete any of the really easy problems or skip them through like every half, every second problem or something so that they focus in on just the work that they need to do. So that's a really good thing to know when you're trying to figure out which problems your child should be doing. Basically, I ask my kids to do it for 10 minutes and, if, and mark it and if they um, get everything right and are finding it easy, then they should move up to the next column and give that a go as well. They should be struggling a bit, but not completely failing. They need to just be in that zone of learning there. Um, the last thing I'll point out is some of the other resources that comes here. Um, we have walkthroughs and questions, which, I, um, which help the kids to go through again questions in that same chapter, walkthroughs and summaries, plus there's three quizzes for every section that they can actually do and see how well they go on. On top of that, they can also go in and challenge people from other colleges and other schools around the world even on this score chart. So these are quizzes and the quizzes here are based on that section that they're doing. They can look at how well they do compared to students at other schools within the school or within their class. As an added bonus, we just have some little links up here as well too. Um, other graphic calculators, geometry tools and scientific calculators if by chance they haven't got theirs on hand. So I hope that this little video here helps parents to understand some of the resources that they can encourage their student to use in order to help them through maths. Late at night and on the weekend it's very discouraging when you're not able to help your child as much as you would like to yourself but you know that there have to be some resources out there that help, can help keep them going rather than giving up. We've paid um, a subscription to this EMAC because we are so impressed with how this textbook works and how it can support our students. So please encourage them to use it.